Moving ahead. Here in this question it says that Nena was given one, one over two piece of cake and Najma was given one, one over three piece of cake. Find the total amount of cake was, find the total amount of cake that was given to both of them. So again, we need to find the total amount. Total amount means addition. Okay. So Nena was given. So what is the amount of cake that is with Nena? Nana have 1, 1 over 2 and Najma have got 1, 1 over 3. So we need to find the total amount. So the total amount of cake will be 1, 1 over 2 plus 1, 1 over 3. Is this right? This is the total amount. Now what do we do? We break the mixed fractions at first. So let's break them. It's 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 1 over 3. What is the next step? Separate out the whole part together. So what is 1 plus 1 and 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. Right? We have separated out the holes and we have separated out the parts of the whole. Now what is 1 plus 1? It is 2 and we are still left to work with the fractions. These are unlike fractions so let us make them like fractions. The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6 so we multiply 1 with 3. 3 times 2 is 6 so we multiply 2 by 1 and this gives the answer 2 plus here we have got what is 3 plus 2? It is 5 over 6. So what is the answer? The final answer that we have got is 2, 5 over 6. So this is the total amount of cake that was given to both of them. Clear? Now, let's do the next one. It says fill in the boxes and we are given here fractions that we need to work with. So it's the whole fraction that we need to find out. So something take away 5 over 8 is equal to 1 over 4. So think if something say something take away 3 is 5. Can you tell me what that number is? What can you do to find this particular missing number here? You can think about adding 5 and 3. You will get this answer. Let's try. 5 plus 3 is 8. So let's say this is 8. So 8 take away 3. The answer is 5. So hence it is verified. So what we are going to do here is also the same thing. We will add the fraction given on the right hand side that is 1 over 4 and 5 over 8 so that we can get what is the missing number. Okay. So now these two fractions are unlike. Let's make them like fractions. So this will be 2 over 8 plus 5 over 8. Okay. Now 5 plus 2 is 7 over 8. So what is the missing fraction? The missing fraction here is 7 over 8. This is the answer. Okay. If you want, you can check the answer yourself. It says, let's check. We are verifying it here. 7 over 8. Let this be this particular missing number. We are taking away 5 over 8 from it. So the answer is 2 over 8. If we simplify 2 over 8, it is 1 over 4. Is this what we have at the right hand side? 1 over 4? So it is verified. So I hope you are clear with the idea how we can use the method of taking like here because something take away is equal to given to us. So instead of using that particular in order to find that missing number, we have added the other, other two numbers. Let's try the next one. Something take away 1 over 5 is equal to 1 over 2. What will you do? Add the two given numbers. We will get the unknown number. 1 over 5. Add it to 1 over 2. So here we need to convert them into like fractions. 10 will be the LCM. So here we'll get 2. Here we'll get 5. So the answer is 7 over 10. This is the missing number. Clear? Moving to the next one. 1 over 2 take away something gives 1 over 6. Again think about the same thing like this. Say 8 take away unknown number gives the answer as 5. What this number will be? 
Now, whenever you see a problem and you are stuck to see that how can I find this number, just think of a simple related example. So think what will you what will you do here to find this particular missing number? Think. 8 takeaway number gives 5. How can I find this particular missing number? I'm sure if you open your 8 fingers of 5, 6, 7, 8. So how many fingers should I close in order to get 5? I need to close 3 fingers. Right? I have closed 3 fingers. I have got the answer 5. So that means here the missing number is basically 3. Is this right? Now imagine how can we use the other way to find this 3. If I do 8 take away 5, I'll get 3 as the answer. Is this right? This is what we'll apply here. If we are going to find the second fraction which is not known, we will do 1 over 2 take away 1 over 6. Is this clear how we are doing? Earlier we were given the bigger fraction was not known. So what did we do? We added the two smaller fractions. So we got the bigger one. Here, because the bigger fraction is given and from the bigger part, something smaller is taken away. So we have got a smaller fraction. Okay. So what do we do? From the bigger one, take away the smaller part. You will have the smaller left with you. So we are doing here 1 over 2, take away 1 over 6. So first of all, let's convert them into equal fractions. So 6 will be the denominator for both the cases. So 2 times what number gives 6? It has 3. It will come on the top as well because 3 times 1 is 3. And here we will have 1 at the numerator. So the answer is 2 over 6. We can simplify it further. The answer is 1 over 3. So this is our final answer. I hope what we have just discussed on this slide, you keep it very clear in your head because it's very important. Let me just repeat it again so that you are going to remember it well. It's very important how we are working the other way around to solve a particular problem, okay? So here, when we are having something take away 5 is equal to 2, something take away 5 is equal to 2. So this something is a bigger part. So from a bigger part, if we take out 5, so you have got certain number of chocolates out of which you are taking away five. You are giving away five chocolates to your friend. So you are left with how much? You are left with two. So what that number is? That number is seven. These are small numbers you can quickly do in your head. But what can we do if the numbers are big? Then what we do? We add these smaller numbers. You can think, what am I left with? I'm left with two chocolates. How much did I give to my friend? I gave my friend five chocolates. So together five and two makes... 7. So what was the total number of chocolates earlier that you were having? 7. Clear? Moving ahead to the next slide here. This particular, um, this particular whole video is all about solving the problems. Only and only questions we are discussing here because there is nothing more to learn in adding and subtracting um, all kind of fraction except working with the questions. Okay. So here it says Complete the addition and subtraction in the box. So here we have got two boxes for which we are going to work for the addition and subtraction. So it says when you move from left to right, you add the numbers. When you move from top to bottom, you subtract the numbers. So these are like fractions. It's simple. So it's 2, it's 4. If we add them together, what do we get? It's 6 over 3. Now, 1 and 2, it's 3 over 3. It's 2 take away 1, it's 1 over 3. It's 4 take away 2, it is um, 2 over 3. It is 6 take away 3, so it will be 3 over 3. I hope it's clear how we have worked this. Move to the next one. This was the first one was very simple. Because all the denominators, there were 3. All the numbers were like fractions. Now comes the unlike fractions, right? So what is the, uh, let's quickly find out what is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. As these two are like, unlike fractions, we need to find the equivalent fraction. So 2 and 3 has got 6 as the LCM, right? So 1 over 2 with 6 as this. So we'll get 3 at the numerator. Add it to 2. Here if we put 6, here it will be 2. So it will be 5 over 6. Okay. Now the next one. 
H3 is 12, 4. So the LCM is 12 of these two. 3 times what number gives 12? It's 4. So it will be 4 at the top. And here 4 times what number gives 12? 3. So here will be 3. So 3 plus 4 is 7. So this is 7 over 12. Now 1 over 2 take away 1 over 3. Right? So here the LCM will be 6. So if here we have got 2, 2 times what number gives 6? It is 3. And 3 times what number gives 6? It is 2. So the answer will be 1 over 6. The next one. What is the LCM for 3 and 4? It is 12. So here it will be 12. So what is um, what is uh, 3 times to get to 12? It is 4. So we 4 times 1 is 4. And 4 times what number gives 12? It is 3. So here it will be 3. So again we will get 1 over 12. Now getting here to the last part. We need to, um, if we are going from left to right, we simply add the fractions. So here the LCM will be 12. I am working for 1 over 6 and 1 over 12. The LCM is 12. So here 12, 6 times what number gives 12? It is 2. So here it will be 2 times 1 that is 2. And it will be 1 itself. So here comes the answer 3 over 12. If you want, you can write its simplest form. So here it will be instead of 3 over 12, it will be 1 over 4. Clear how we have worked with this particular question of working with the box when we are going from left to right and when we are going from up to bottom. So we add and we subtract respectively. Moving ahead. Here it comes. A question that is a word problem. It says a piece of wire is one seven over eight meters long, broke into two pieces. One piece is one over four meter. How long? Um, how long is the other piece? So how how we can imagine this question? Say this is the piece of wire which measures seven over eight. This is the whole measure of this particular wire. It is saying how much part is broken? One over four part is broken. Say this is the broken part. So we need to find what is this part here. So what do you think you can do? Just looking at the image, I'm sure you can imagine that here, if I subtract from 7 over 8, if I subtract 1 over 4, I'll get the answer. So it's the way that we can get to this answer. Let's do the same here. So it is 7 over 8 take away 1 over 4. Okay. Now, um, here or let's just do one thing we are we'll just write this in sentences okay so that it's more formal way to write here it says the piece so we'll write total length of the wire so the total length of the wire is 7 over 8 meters and length of one piece is equal to one over four meters. So length of the other piece, how can we calculate it? If we take away one over four from seven over eight, we'll get the answer, right? So let's do this. So here clearly it is seven over eight, it is one over four. We need to convert them into equivalent fractions. So it will be 7 over 8 take away 2 over 8. These are the equivalent fractions for this particular numbers. So when we have now the like fractions, we simply do 7 take away 2 over 8. And the answer to this is 5 over 8. This is the final answer. I hope this is clear. Moving to the next question. Here, this question says that Nandini's house is 9 over 10 kilometers um, her, from her school. She walked some distance and then took a bus for one, uh, 1 over 2 kilometers to reach the school. How far did she walk? So here let's write it down. How far is Nandini's house? Um, distance of Nandini's house from school so this is basically the total distance that we are having so it is 9 over 10 kilometers 
right? So this is the distance of Nandini's house from school. She walked some distance and then took a bus. And she, uh, for one and a half, oh, I'm sorry, not one and a half, it's half kilometers to reach to school. How far did she walk? So she walked some distance and then took a bus for just half kilometers, right? So distance covered by bus. So what is the distance covered by bus is half kilometers, okay? Now, distance she walked. So what distance did she walk? It is the total distance minus the distance that she has traveled by bus, okay? So now let us solve for 9 over 10 minus 1 over 2. So what is the equal fraction for them? LCM should be 10. So it will be 10 here and here we will get 5 over 10. Okay. Now what is 9 take away 5? It is 4 over 10. Now we can further simplify 4 over 10. So dividing both the numerator and denominator by 2, we get the answer as 2 over 5. This is the final answer. So how many kilometers? 2 over 5 kilometers she has covered by walking. Let's move forward to the next question here. It says Asha and Samuel have bookshelves of the same size partly filled with books. Asha's shelf is 5 sixth full and Samuel's shelf is 2 fifth full. Whose bookshelf is more full by what fraction? Okay, so let us write how much Asha's shelf is full. So Asha's shelf has got 5 over 6 part of the full and Samuel Samuel's shelf is 2 fifth of the full the whole part out of the whole part 2 fifth part is full now um, we need to say whose bookshelf is more so how can we first thing say is whose bookshelf is more full. So we have to compare these two fractions. This is the first thing. Even if we are comparing two unlike fractions, we need to work for the uh, fractions. First, we need to make them to like fractions. So what is the like fraction to 1 over 6 and no, 5 over 6 and 2 over 5? We need to find the LCM. The LCM for 5 and 6 is 30, right? So let's convert this fraction to something over 30. And let's convert this to something over 30, right? So 6 times 5 gives 30. We do the same with the numerator as well. And this gives 25 as the answer. Now 5 times what number gives 30? So we do the same with the numerator, okay? So now we have got 25 over 30 and here we have got 12 over 30. So can you tell me whose bookshelf is more full? So, Asha's bookshelf is more full. Whose bookshelf is more full? 25 over 30 is the bigger fraction compared to 12 over 30. Thus, Asha's bookshelf is more full. By what fraction? By what fraction means we need to take away the smaller fraction from the bigger fraction to get the difference between the two. So, let's find it out. 25 over 30 take away 12 over 30. So it's simple, we keep the de denominator itself and we do 25 take away 12. So it is 1 and it is 13 over 30. So this is the final answer. So what is the difference between the two? The difference between the two fractions is 13 over 30. Now let's move and this is the last question for this particular lesson. It says Jaydev takes Two 1 over 5 minutes to walk across the school ground. Rahul takes 7 over 4 minutes to do the same. Who takes less time and by what fraction? So in the first one it says Javed takes 2 1 over 5 minutes to walk across the school. Okay, this is again given in minutes. However, the next one it is given uh, as 7 over 4 minutes. 
So 7 over 4 minutes, do you notice it is an improper fraction? 7 is a bigger number, 4 is a smaller. So the first step is we are going to write 7 over 4 as a mixed fraction as well. Let us write it here. First, let's write what is for Javed's, Javed's um, say walking time. Javed's walking time. So it is 2, 1 over 4. 5. Or else let us do one thing. Instead of converting um, 7 over 4 that is improper fraction into a proper fraction, let's convert our impro this mixed fraction into improper fraction. Okay? Let's do it that way. Both the ways they are correct. Either you convert improper fraction to mix and then work for both the mixed fractions or else you convert your mixed fraction to improper fraction and work with two improper fractions. I am just converting this in for this particular question. I am converting the given mixed fraction to improper. I hope you remember how do we do that. If it is 2, 1 over 5, we multiply the number sitting at the denominator with the number sitting in front and we add the number sitting on the top. So this will be 5 times 2 is 5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11. It will be 11 over 5. I hope this is clear. You have worked this already in your previous class on fractions. Now let's write it here. So it will be 11 over 5, right? Now we know this is in minutes. Now Rahul takes how much? Time taken. Taken by Rahul. It is 7 over 4 minutes. Now who takes less time? That means we need to compare the two fractions. So it is 11 over 5 and it is 7 over 4. So what we need to do first, we need to first calculate the equivalent fraction. So 5 and 4, what is the um, LCM for 5 and 4? It is 20. So let us write down for 11 over 12. 20 here. So 5 times what number gives 20? It's 4. So we'll do the same with the numerator. So for Javed, I'm just writing J here. If this is for Javed. Okay. And for Rahul, the fraction is 4 times what number gives 20 at the denominator? It is 5. So 5 times 7 is 35. This is for Rahul. Clear? Now, clearly, can you compare the two? Is 44 over 20 bigger or is it 35 over 20 that is bigger? Clearly, 44 over 20 is bigger. So who takes less time? Who takes lesser time? It is Rahul who takes less time. Is that clear? Make sure that you listen to the, read the question carefully. Don't write that for this particular, you shouldn't write that Javed is taking more time. They're not asking who's taking more time. They're asking who's taking less time. So you will say Rahul is taking less time. Right? Now, by what fraction? So, what do you mean by what fraction? It means you need to find the difference of the two. So, let's find the difference of the two. Bigger number, take away the smaller number. So, it is 44 take away 35 over 20. Right? So, what is 44 over 44? So, 44 minus um, 35 is equal to 9 over 20. So what is the difference? The total difference between the two is 9 over 20 minutes. I hope this is clear.